Good afternoon. Good afternoon to everyone on New My Zion prayer line. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Let us exalt and praise his name together. We pray that everyone is doing well today and remain safe. Be blessed and be thankful this day, July the 7th, 2022. At this time, I am James Bible, standing in for the pastor. We will ask Deacon McCoy to read the sick list and the special prayer line list. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Sister McCoy, Deacon McCoy. Uh, yes, sir. Good afternoon, Deacon Father. To the members, visitors, and friends, our special prayer request for Thursday, July the 7th, 2022, reads as follows. The brother, Sister Stacy McMorris, brother Joshua McMorris, who underwent a heart transplant. He is in ICU. He resides uh, in Dallas, Texas. Sister Sonja Cooper, Reverend Matthew Blackwell, who had surgery on July the 6th. Deacon James Todd and family, and the passing of his grandson, Brother Hakimia Kelly. The funeral service will be Saturday, July the 9th, 2022 at 11 a.m. at New Horizon Church. The viewing will be at Light of the World Baptist Church on the corner of West Haven Boulevard, Boulevard and South Drive from 12 noon until 7 p.m. on Friday, July the 8th. Sister Willie Mae Lewis, Brother Emerson Williams, Brother David Williams, the father of Brother Emerson Williams, Sister Barbara Williams, the older sister of Brother Emerson Williams during her time of illness, who asked his special prayer for Brother Lionel White, the friend of Deacon Vernell Fleming. We ask his special prayer for the parents of Jelani J. Porter, who was the drowning victim in Lake Caroline on July the 4th. Also the grandmother, Sister Regina Lamisa, and great-grandmother, Sister Helen Martin. These are also family members of Brother Wilbur McCoy Sr. and family. Sister LaShawn Jones, the daughter of Sister Marion Henderson, Sister Tina Todd Johnson, she's recovering at home, Sister Laverne Chen, Sister Natasha Chrysler, she is a co-worker of Deacon McCullum, Brother R.T. Clerk and family, Sister Jeannie White, Reverend Durr, she resides in Seattle, Washington. Missionary Dr. Bobby Parker and her two daughters, Sister Brianna Parker and Sister Desiree Day, both daughters as they battle cancer. They reside in Trinity, Texas. Sister Brianna has begun her treatment and Sister Desiree will begin hers in the next two weeks. They thank everyone for your prayers. Sister Gloria McKnight and her family, she is the niece of Sister Fleming. Sister McKnight is resting at home and improving. Sister Diane H. Johnson, the sister of Sister Fleming, we're asking special prayer for the Young family and the loss of their loved one, Brother Jeffrey Young Sr. Brother Ernest Fleming, the brother Deacon Fleming, and his nephew, Brother Alan Hunt. They both reside in Dallas, Texas. Sister Annie Wilson, the sister of Deacon Fleming, she resides in Natchez, Mississippi. She had to go to the hospital, but she's back resting at home. Sister Joni Devonport, she resides in Gaston, Alabama. Sister Joanne Devonport, she resides in Eufaula, Alabama, and resting at home. Nine-month-old granddaughter of Sister Julia Bass, Venus Irina. She's in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. She has COVID-19. Brother Kenny and Travis Adams requesting special prayer, health, personal problems. Sister Nadine Barnes, who recently had cataract surgery. Sister Sandra Strong requesting special prayer for strength. Let us continue to be prayerful for all our sick and shut-in members, friends, those that are hospitalized in nursing homes, homeless, those that are bereaved, and those families that were involved in the July 4th mass shooting family uh, in Illinois, where those lives were lost and many were injured. Let
Let us continue to be prayerful for our city, state, and nation, and crime taking place. Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. This concludes our special prayer request for July 7th, 2022. Thank you, Deacon McCoy. We have three individuals who are going to bless us with uh, wonderful prayers today. They are going to pray at this time. We have Sister Rosa Todd. We have Sister Ida Berry and Sister Juanita Taylor. Uh, Sister Rosa Todd, are you on the line at this time? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. You may. Okay, thank you. Today is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Our Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for another day on this journey of life. We are so grateful that you let us see one more day. Lord, help us to do positive things with this day. Someone may need just a kind word to get through this day, while someone else may need our financial help. Lord, let us do what we can with your guidance. Lord, thank you for your greatness. Thank you that when we are weak, you are strong. We are not immune from bad things happening in our life, but we have a savior that we can call on. Lord, we know whatever our situation is, your will will be done. Lord, help us to face every storm in our life with confidence, whether it is good or bad. Thank you that we are your children. Help us to recognize Satan's lies Help us to refuse his temptation and help us to rely on your truth in any given situation. Help us to put all our trust in you. We thank you, Lord, for taking away fear and worries, the what if, and reminding us that our help comes from you. Lord, please guard our minds, our thoughts and keep us doing things that are right and pleasing to you. Sometimes we struggle with everyday things, but your word will keep us on track. Lord, sometimes our tongues get ahead of our mind and heart. Help us to have loving words for each other. Let us be full of your spirit. Let us overflow with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and self-control. Lord, we release the children from the youngest to the oldest to your care and protection. We can't go everywhere they go, but you can. Please cover them with your blood. Lord, give the parents wisdom, knowledge, and peace to raise their children. I pray for guidance for the children and that you would put good people in their lives, people that love you, Lord, and are willing to share the love they have for you with them. Lord, there's so much chaos and sadness in our world, but there is hope. It's in your word. You said that you would never leave us nor forsake us, and we are holding on to that promise, Lord. I pray for our city, our state, and our country. We know that all things will work together for good. I pray for those names that were called on our prayer list. I pray for those who do not know you as their Savior. I pray for those that are going through financial difficulties, those suffering from sickness, whether physical or mental. I pray for those going through a time of bereavement. We ask for your comfort for them and help us do whatever we can for them, because we never know when we will be in that same place. I pray for our New Mount Zion family, loved ones, friends. I pray for those who call into this prayer line. I pray for our pastor and his family. Keep them safe as they travel. And when they return, let them find everything as they left it. Finally, Lord, let us not 
lean on our own understanding, but in everything, acknowledge you so that you can direct our words, our thoughts, and our actions. It is in Jesus' name that I submit this prayer. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Sister Todd, for that wonderful prayer. Our second person that will do prayer this morning is Sister Ida Berry. Are you there, Sister Berry? Yes, I am. Good afternoon to everyone on the line. And as we go to God in prayer, we as the body of Christ ask you, Father God, to purify our hearts as your spirit permeates the atmosphere and binds out all unrighteousness. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you once again to praise you, honor you, and glorify your name. We praise you for the gift of another day. For your mercies are new each morning. Our eyes are opened and our hearts are beating. Father, we take not for granted your goodness. You gave us eyes to see, a brain to think, a mouth to speak a heart to love, hands to touch, feet to walk, and food, clothing, and shelter. We owe all the thanks to you, Almighty God. Forgive us of our many trespasses, Father, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And now, Father God, we want you to th- we want to thank you for your unmerited favor. Touch those that are afflicted, those that are bereaved homeless, hungry, and our world leaders. Bless our cities, state, and country. Father, there's a lot of chaos that bring, that's going on in the world, and we just need you to touch the heart of man to see your face while you may be found. Bless us as your children to be bold and spread your holy word as you commissioned us to do as followers of Christ. Bless those that are lost, that at the sound of your voice, they may harden not their heart, but come running and asking you to have mercy upon their souls. Bless our pastor and his family. Allow he and his family to have a safe travel to and from their appointed destination. Bless our church family and friends and their family. Bless each church that opened their doors in your name and worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless those who preach and teach your holy word. Bless our children that they may honor their fathers and mothers and all of the adults serving in the village of their upbringing. Help those adults to bring them up in the admonition of the Lord. Father God, Please heal our land, which only you can do. Please hear our cry. Let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Sister Barry, for that glorious prayer. Our third individual that will bring us prayer this morning is Sister Juanita Taylor. Are you there, Sister Taylor? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Let us let us continue bow head. Our Father, which art in heaven, the Father of glory, the Father of light, our glorious and holy God. We come to you humbly this day. And submissive as we know how. We love you, Lord. And first, we want to thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you have been to us. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Thank you for life, health, strength, and the presence of mind. We thank you for being a forgiving God who sees all and knows all and one who never forsakes us or leaves us alone, the one who forgives us of all our sins. Keep us aware of our wrongdoing so that we may not sin against you. We come to you now, Lord, on behalf of our church. 
we ask that you please help us to be re to remain abiding in the divine that we may bear fruit suitable for your kingdom. Help us to remain champions of holiness and truth so that we may never fall away from the church and its teaching. Father of glory, may our church truly glorify you. Protect us as we go into the world seeking to bring others into your kingdom. Pour out the power of your Holy Spirit on us and use our church to reflect you in all that we do. Help us to use our gifts in harmony and humility with one another. Guide us in every way, every day, to be the best church that we can cheerfully and diligently be. Then, Father, bless our pastor as he guides us through these perilous days and times. Help us to be a church that he can be proud of. And bless all of us that stand in the need of blessing. Those people that Dr. McCoy named, the sick, the bereaved, the homeless, the motherless, the fatherless, the children, young and young adults. And also visit our city leaders, Father, our county leaders, our state leaders, and our national leaders. Work on their minds and consciousness. In some way, bring them into submission so that they can be the leader for the good of all. Remind us that we are indispensable to one another and we can't do anything without you. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Sister Taylor, and we thank all the individuals that led us in prayer this day. Just a couple of observations or announcement. Bible class will resume on Monday, July 11th at 7 p.m. We will finish up the study of Genesis chapter 45 and begin Genesis chapter 46. John us Sunday for another great Sunday school lesson at 9, p 9 a.m. and our worship service at 11 a.m. We would like to thank everyone for tuning in on our prayer line today. At this time, we are so thankful that the Lord is blessing our church and blessing everyone that uh, stand on his holy name. At this time, I will do the closing prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we pray for each name that was called on the sick list and those that were requested prayer. We pray for our pastor and his family. We pray for our church and all churches that are open in your holy name. We pray to the state of Jackson and its leaders. We pray for the leaders of our state and our national government. God, we thank you for all the many blessings that you have given us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Until next Sunday, be blessed and be safe. Thank you very much.